Do you know how to identify exponential decay? Take a look at this problem. Maggie has $6,800. Every day, every X day, one quarter of that is decreased. How does this represent an exponential decay function? Well, let's start off by breaking this down with a table. So let's say that x is the days and y is the final amount of money as each day passes. So on the first day, $6,800 is decreased by one-fourth to the first power. So if we multiply 6,800 times one-fourth, that's the same as dividing 6,800 by four, we get $1,700. So based on the decay of one quarter, on day one, Maggie's initial investment of $6,800 would have decreased to $1,700. If it continues at this rate, what would happen on day two? Well, on day two, she would have 6,800, the initial amount, times one-fourth to the second power, or one-fourth squared. Let's rewrite this so you can see it. 6,800 times one-fourth squared, which is the same as 6,800 times 1 16th. If we multiply 6,800 times 1 16th, it's the same as dividing 6,800 by 16, and our answer is 425. You can see that this number, the 6,800, is decreasing exponentially as the days go by. Now let's look at one more day, what would happen on day three? Well, we would have 6,800 times one-fourth to the third power, which is the same as 6,800 times one sixty-fourth, which is another way of saying 6,800 divided by 64. And if we do that, Maggie would be left with $106.25. This is an exponential decay function, and here's how the values would look in a table. You can also see exponential decay on a graph. Let's take a look at what that would look like. This graph represents exponential decay. Notice that where it starts and where it ends it goes from a high point all the way down to a low point. It is also a curved graph because the decrease is exponential, not linear. If it were linear, the line would be straight. Exponential decay graphs go from a high point to a low point, from left to right. Here's another graph that represents exponential decay. You'll see that here the count which is on the y-axis, decreased over time. As time passed, the count, the number that we started with, decreased exponentially. These curved graphs represent exponential decay.